Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 2v2 battle with me and Surreal. I am playing as the Beastman. He is bringing the Empire. We are facing off against two Wood Elf players. For our army compositions, uh, things kind of get really hectic pretty quickly. I have a front line of Gore Herds with shields. Behind me is a Spearman line with shields from Surreal. I have two Best of Gore Herds, two Gorbals, Morgor of the Shadow Grave. I also have two Minotaurs with shields back here. There's also a Jade Wizard from Surreal. Then off on the flanks, we have Harpies and Chaos Warhounds. Because again, we're facing off against two um, of the Wood Elf players. And that's going to be most of my army there. Also back here, we have three Great Swords, Sterling's Revenge, the Silver Bullets, Boris Tarbringer on the Griffin. And then two Empire Knights, two Demigriff Knights with Halberds, and then two Grenade Launcher Outriders. We have a Waystalker for the enemy, a total of five Wild Riders with shields between the two of our enemies here. A lot of Eternal Guard with shields making their front line. Behind them we have four Wildwood Rangers. We have two Azrai Spear War Dancers. No, one. And then one normal war dancer. And then off here we have another Eternal Guard with a flank. We have two Forest Dragons of Durthu. We have Orion right there. And then back here we have the Way Watchers, four of them. Again, those are the very expensive armor piercing fire all around them. Um, cat, or not calf, archers that I think are still kind of just too expensive. A little too expensive. And then those are the rest of the Wild Riders back there. So, yeah, this is a quick match. This is going to be the Wood Elves are going to rush us down here. So, my Gore Herd is marching up, and we are just going to get struck with these Wild Riders with shields immediately. Surreal Spears are going to try and come here and reinforce, but these Wild Riders are pretty quick. Getting my Minotaurs in there as well, but you can see the amount of damage done to my Gore Herds in this initial charge is kind of devastating. And then these Wild Riders are going to pull out. So a very nice and relatively safe charge from these Wild Riders before the Empire Spearman can really uh, get on them. What's left of my line is going to march forward into the combined line of the uh, Eternal Guard, backed up by those Wild Dancers and Dirthus coming over here as well. Surreal's army is going to be marching around the flanks. Oh, that's a little too far, but I'm marching around like this. I'm marching my harpies, or flying my harpies over there, getting my warhounds all the way back and around over here. And we're going to try and hit with Surreal's army and my warhounds of flying contention to try and shut down all these archers and wild riders. Meanwhile, my gore herds, well, basically my infantry and my minotaurs are just going to get kind of crushed slowly as I kind of take the brunt of all of their infantry here and a lot of their... Um, uh, heroes as well are intermixed in here along with some of their forest dragons You can see one has already landed amongst my warhounds who I'm gonna try and withdraw from here and get over there We're gonna try and ambush well not ambush but engage this forest dragon with our hero squad Which is Morgur, the two Gorbals, and I believe the Bray Shaman of Beasts is gonna join as well Forest dragons look really cool Not sure they're very cost-effective though. They're kind of uh, they're kind of squishy a little bit but yeah, back here you can see we are putting a lot of pressure on the kind of back line of the elves at this point, where, where their uh, Weight Watchers are. I always want to say Weight Watchers, uh, but where the Weight Watchers are, and we're getting into the um, other two Weight Watchers back here. My Harpies are pretty fast, so they're going to descend from the skies and engage here, here, and we're going to try and get them here as well, and, and try and just lock down each one of the, of the Weight Watchers. Again, they are very expensive. Meanwhile, my infantry line continues to just get battered by all the, the Eternal Guard, the Wildwood Rangers, Durthu, Orion, uh, Ancient Tree Man. So much that these Gore Herds have to hold back, but they are not really made for this type of uh, battle. But meanwhile, this Forest Dragon has been kind of isolated from the pack, so we got our Hero Squad on it. And you can see it's not going to last pretty long against two Gorbals, Morgur, and a Bray Shaman of the Beasts. Luckily enough, I still do have my two Minotaurs with shields intact. I've been trying to just kind of do a fighting withdrawal. I don't want them to get surrounded by the Spearmen quite yet, so we've just been kind of fighting, then withdrawal, fighting, withdrawal. And we are focusing our main efforts over here with the Sterling's Revenge. You can see the Silver Bullets also getting nice shots on the second Force Dragon, who is just melting. They just don't have that many uh, hit points. The Way Watchers, for the most part, have been dealt with in the back line. The Knights from Surreal haven't even really engaged yet because uh, we've just been so quickly uh, melting them with the Harpies and the um, Gunner units there. Meanwhile, my main infantry line is still kind of being shot up. I've been casting some Flock of Dunes on these Wildwood Rangers from our British Shaman of Beasts. My Minotaurs and Gorbul, actually, yeah, my Minotaurs and Gorbuls are now fighting with Morgur here against all of these Eternal Guard, and along with Durthu, we're trying to, to destroy the leadership. We're going to get some decent hits on Durthu here, and again, we are still micromanaging in the back line. Now we're dealing with their Wild Riders. Surreal's army is now coming in. These two Demigriff Knights are going to pounce on Orion, and I believe he is considered large, so they're going to get their bonus for some large damage there. And my Harpies continue to just assail these Way Watchers wherever they go because I just have so many. And the Warhounds are now back here and they're going to chase off this group. And I believe I assigned the other two to chase off more Way Watchers in the, um, in the future. 
These wild riders tried to do a mass charge against the spearmen, but it didn't end up too well for them. So now they're going to assist against Surreal's calf here. But the Surreal does have those two Demic of Knights, two Empire Knights. He also, I believe, has Boris Topbringer. No, no, actually, Boris Topbringer is fighting this ancient treatment. A lot going on in a very quick amount of time. I'm trying to bring any unit that comes back for riding because, again, I've been just kind of shattered and forced back uh, again and again. Now you can see my Minotaurs and Morgor are fighting off all these Eternal Guard, doing some decent damage. The Minotaurs with shields are a defensive-focused Minotaur group. They still will eventually tie to a bunch of spears, but they do hold on a little bit longer than the other Minotaur counterparts. Getting our hero squad out of there because they started to take some damage from all of these... E, um, Wildwood Rangers and Eternal Guard. I do summon a group of Chaos Spawn. There they go. I believe they're summoning up now. Yeah. So I summon them up there to hold this giant group of infantry and along with my Minotaurs as we again try and continue to isolate and destroy their, well, their Orion for the first part. And then also all of their wild um, riders out there in the back. Still trying to finish off the Way Watchers. Our Chaos Hounds have driven off a couple of the other groups. The Forest Dragon, just so much damage been dealt to it. Now here comes my hero squad again. We're trying to get on Durthu. So I'm trying to skirt around this combat and get on, on Durthu and murder him. To try and finish off the leadership of these two elf armies. The Chaos Spawn that are free have dealt some decent damage along with the Minotaurs to all these Eternal Guard. And we are starting to do a mass route due to enemy losses. Because again we have destroyed for the most part most of their Wild Riders and their Way Stalkers, Watchers, whatever they are. In the background. Oh my god, there's so much happening in so little time. So much to say. Um, felt like my mouth was moving a mile a minute. So yeah, very short, intense battle. But I really liked that the Wood Elves did a really good charge in the beginning. And totally shut down my Gore Herds really quickly. I was not expecting that. But those Wild Riders are very strong against very low armored units. And it showed they destroyed those Gore Herds. Then they pulled out. But um, the thing is, both of their front lines came in hard against me. And again, I was just doing the fighting withdrawals. Uh, not doing... Well... Kind of a hard engage here and there, but throwing a little unit here and there, allowing everyone to surround it. And we were just trying to stall for time to allow First Surreal's army to come in behind with all those knights on my harpies and take out their back line while the front line was just still trying to destroy what was left of my uh, beastman army. And those Minotaurs, even against all those spearmen, they held for a very, very long time. Again, they're more defensively focused, but they held on even longer than I thought they would. Um, so there you go. That is going to be a victory for me and Surreal in the... Uh, what is this? The War Herd of the Shadow Grave, I believe, is what this one's called. I guess, you know, we'll do a cinematic view. Uh, it's a pretty quick battle there. And I really wish I could see what the other people, how they did. But uh, for me here, decent kills on the Gore Bulls. Decent actual kills on the Gore Herds, even though they got battered and bruised over and over again. I think I sent every unit to their death like three times in this battle because they kept rerouting but coming back and... Kind of just getting sent back in there to plug the holes. Best Best of Gores didn't really get to do too much just because they were outnumbered so severely. Um, meanwhile, though, the Chaos Warhounds and the Harpies did their job very well at chasing down the squishy Waywatcher units of the Elves. So they did really good there. And then, yeah, these Minotaurs with shields, man. 100 kills, 49 kills. Not bad considering they were fighting against Azurai Spears for, uh, for one thing. And those are very powerful war dancers. And then also just loads and loads of Eternal Guard with shields. So... A lot of um, anti-large damage thrown their way, but they, they held the line pretty well. And then for Zeon Hacker here, 54 kills in Durthu is pretty good. The Eternal line did pretty good as crushing my uh, Gore Herds. The War Dancers, 42 kills, still high health. Wildwood Rangers, 59 kills is really good. I still have yet to really use them because I think they're really expensive, but that's pretty good. Uh, Wild Riders, though, man. Over 100 kills each. These things, Wild Riders are brutal. <laughs> very, very brutal units. They're really cool and really... Uh, Really nice, nice addition for the uh, Wood Elf army, or a nice component, I should say. 51 kills for the Tree Man, and then one kill for this 2,000 cost Forest Dragon, and I don't believe the other one fared much better in that battle. They were both kind of shut down pretty quickly. On paper, like they, it looks like they can cause some really good damage, but their lower hit points actually are kind of a, a big thing. They just fall pretty quickly. They just melt. In any battle that I've ever seen them in, they haven't really done too well. I don't know. I'm not going to say they're super weak yet. I just haven't played enough to give that definitive answer. But I'm getting the feeling that they're just not that amazing in multiplayer. But hey, you know what? I'll try and use them in the future. Maybe we'll find something. So yeah, let's watch a cinematic view of that very quick and intense battle. This cab looks so cool. I don't think a lot of these guys are getting back up. Well. 
I'm wrong? We got Boris Topringer over there dealing with... Um, who are they? Oh, we caught the Way, Way Stalker out here. Because they were Vanguard deployed and we murdered them pretty quickly. See a flock of doom going on our best scores and our um, gore herds over here. Forest Dragon catching our Warhounds is pretty cool. They look so cool. I wish they... Again, I don't know. Maybe they are good. Just got to use them the right way. Maybe. I don't know. Run, little puppies. You don't have a chance. Run! Flight of the Harpies. It looks like poor Toddbringer is leading our Harpies. That's funny. Get him, Spears! Spread out. There should be some Wildwood Rangers around here. We don't see them that often. Not sure where they are. But here's that forest dragon who got a little too over eager. So we're just going to tear that thing to pieces. There's those rangers. Harpies. <laughs> it looks like they just can't catch him. Interesting. Oh no, dead forest dragon. Our retreating gore herds running into the support of the great source from Midland to fight against. Uh, actually, I do like this. And I haven't pointed it out yet, but you can actually kind of tell here how the elves are slightly taller than the humans. Maybe this is a better. Slightly taller, like maybe a head taller, eh, maybe half a head taller. I don't know. I just think that's kind of cool because they, they. I guess they should be taller, but anyway. Sorry, something I just noticed recently. I was like, oh yeah, these elves are actually taller than humans. Vinland looks so cool. I like the blue. Roots out. So many Io or whales over here. Fighting around the carcass of their fallen forest dragon. But 
But unfortunately for the Wood Elves, their morale is not going to hold. Even though they still do have a lot of units, but... Yeah, that chain rallying just, just got them there in the end. Killing the Orion just losses in general. But um, anyway, nice, intense, intense, very uh, fast battle here. But also on one of the new maps that I think looks really cool. Because there's just, just this giant flaming pillar that's just always active in the corner of the map. I don't know why. I don't know. Chaos influence? I have no idea. The map looks pretty cool. In that it's just this like desolated Wood Elf territory. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it looks neat. Um, but I will see you all in the next episode, everybody. Thank you for watching. This tree man is getting shot in the back of the head. That must be annoying. Take care.